just want to show you guys this because we dyed it about a year ago. It made 700 horsepower with a single carburetor. And um, now we're going to put a tunnel ram on it and uh, see how much more power we can make and try to shoot for two horsepower per cube. And um, what's interesting about this motor is it's a, uh, a 1970 GM 400 block and we put a 350 crankshaft in it, which, uh, which is what makes it a 377. And um, high revving little motor. It's my own personal motor. Um, we built this with parts we had laying around. And um, it's going in a 66 Nova that I'm building. A little street car. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, we'll put this intake on it and uh, we'll redyno it and uh, show you guys the results. It's about a month later from the last video, and uh, as I said in the last video, we we're going to put a tunnel ram intake on it, and uh, which we did, and we ended up putting an Edelbrock uh, Victor ram intake on this thing, and we looked all over for this intake. We looked all over the country actually for it. No, nobody had it, and actually Edelbrock said they wouldn't have it till April. Um, so we went on marketplace. We found the intake. It was it was pretty beat up, but we massaged it and uh, had a weld. You know, I had like 40 hours worth of welding and porting on this thing, but it turned out pretty nice. And uh, we put it on there. We also added two uh, 750 CFM carburetors. And our goal with this motor is to make uh, another 40, 50 horsepower, so uh, we can make around uh, two horsepower per cubic inch. That's that's the goal with this thing. You know, if we make it great, if not. You know what it makes is what it makes but um, since the last video uh, I painted the block orange so I want it to look vintage and then also I added these valve covers too these are uh, made from Holly they're pretty neat it's uh, their vintage line they actually look uh, legit from like the 60s so we added that you know painted it um, you know worked on this intake and um, this is what we got now so we'll do a we'll do uh, the dyna pulls on it tomorrow see what kind of power we make and we'll make a video of that and uh, we'll, we'll attach the, the videos all together and then in the end you'll see what we got. But um, if you guys have any questions on, on the motor or uh, anything that we, we've done, leave us a comment below and uh, I'll answer any questions that you have. And I uh, appreciate you guys uh, viewing and uh, let us know. So it's about a week later, uh, we dyno the motor and um, we ended up making uh, 735 horsepower and 515 foot-pounds of torque. So I'm real happy with that, but we ran out of time that day and uh, had to pull it off. We had a customer's engine, we had to dyno the very next day. 
Then I thought about putting it back on there because I'm confident I can make another 15, 20 horsepower with this thing, no, no problem. But then I decided against it because uh, the car is coming back from paint and uh, you know I'm excited about putting this motor in the car. And if I keep pushing it, um, something might let loose on this thing because we're already exceeding the rating of these rods and the block is 50 years old and definitely pushing um, or exceeding the, the limit this block can take. But it's pretty cool for what it is. You know, it's uh, all old parts that we got in this thing uh, mostly, you know, and we got a new crank in it. But, um, you know, it's pretty cool because it's a, you know, throwback to, to a vintage engine and, uh, you know, it's kind of what we want. But um, we're going to wrap this thing up and uh, I'll, I'll do another video of the car. You know, we'll put the engine in the car. We'll do a video of that. We'll do a video of uh, driving down the street and, um, you know, so you guys can see what this thing is going in. But we're going to wrap it up for now. And, um, you know, if you guys have any questions or, uh, or you want to see anything more like this, you'll leave me a comment and I'll, I'll answer all your questions. And maybe we'll do some other stuff like this. But, uh, but we're going to wrap this thing up for now. And um, I appreciate you guys watching and, um, you know, your interest in this. And uh, we'll talk soon and be safe.